day 24, or actually day 23. This is actually going up. This will be going up on the 24th, but this is uh, day 23. And um, yeah, so uh, so much has been done on these guys. That was sarcastic. Um, hardly anything was done on these guys today. Um, I was able to wash the wings. So they have that, that first layer on. They're looking pretty good. Um, but I have decided that I don't like the spines and claws and toenails and stuff on these guys. I don't like this gray color. I'm going to go back in and uh, either do the brown, brownish color that's on the first guy or do a, a bone color. I think bone would look cool. Um, but the effect on the other guy looks pretty good too. So not entirely sure yet. That'll probably be tomorrow's update, which is today's, but that'll be going up later, later on. Um, probably late tonight. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so got to do the spines and stuff before I start the second part of the wings. And then after the second part of the wings is done, so it'll be the uh, toenails and stuff, and then the um, wings. And then after that, we'll go over the spines again to clear them up and do the detailing. And, uh, and then the, which includes like the teeth and the eyes and the highlights and the hair. And then uh, after that, they'll be pretty much done. Or at least they'll be as caught up as the the first guy. So let's see if we can get light in here better. I don't know how it's coming out on the on the camera. Well, maybe that's good. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, they're coming along. They look pretty good. I'm not uh, I'm not disappointed. So. Yeah, they look kind of cool. They'll look really cool all ranked up together. So, yeah. Day 23. Um, basically, the black wash is the only thing that happened on them. <laughs> on their wings. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's it for the update. Got another, uh, another late night shift tonight at work, so very little hobby time this week all right they're on to day 23 question okay day 23 is uh wednesday is that how far along we are in the week already <laughs> i've totally lost track all right so wednesday um what army would you want design next Examples could be Eldar Exodite Outcasts, Adeptus Arbit Arbites, Street Judges, Chaos Dwarves, etc. Um, oh man, I should have read this one before filming, but too late now. Not gonna go back on it. Um, ooh, what would I want to design next? Well, probably... I'm gonna have to go ahead and say Watts, right off the top of my head, mainly because I know that they used to exist in some form or another, maybe like in Rogue Trader days or something, but um, they were removed for whatever reason, and um, I mean, let's face it, <clears throat> 40k's got all of the races covered, except for Space Dwarves, right? They've got Dark Elves, High Elves, they've got Humans, they've got... Uh, super humans they've got um uh like robots i mean they've got basically all the archetypes covered and they used to have space dwarves as well but they were removed for whatever reason um so i'd like to uh i think it would be cool to have them uh see a resurgence with uh, all the new i think they could do some really amazing things with the new molding techniques and their new uh sculptors and artists and stuff i think they could uh they could really make that an exciting 
addition to the new game, the new uh, face of the game. I think that would be awesome. I mean, could you imagine like what they could do with like warlord traits and vehicles and um, named characters and and all the psychic powers and stuff that we have access to now in 40k i think that'd be awesome to see um squats come back with that that new the new stuff and the new models so yeah i think that would be um i think that would be my selection i, I do think elder exodites would be kind of interesting but you can kind of do those already um because they do have uh i mean they've got eldar models and they've got uh forge world eldar scope uh sculpts that that could be like Exodite models, and they've got Rangers and stuff that are kind of in that style. So you could almost, um, with enough effort, I think you could make an Exodite army and then use like typical Eldar rules, um, but staying away from like the high technology stuff like uh, Ghost Warriors and vehicles and stuff, and just have like a, a Foot Dark type of thing. And I think, yeah. In that way, you could probably just home make an Exodite army. Um, Street Judges, the Adeptus Arbidize, which I believe are the uh, like the 40k version of uh, police, like the cops. Um, that would be interesting too, but I can't really see them on a galactic scale. Like they're more focused, I think, on uh, on like local issues, like planetary issues. So it would be hard to fit them into like you know big apocalyptic battles and stuff that kind of 40k swinging towards not not because they would never be seen in in a conflict like that but if you wanted to do something narrative wise it would be hard to justify them like fighting in different uh, cl uh different climes and, and terrain and worlds and and sectors and stuff because they i think they're mostly local in fact i think in the 40k universe it's actually pretty uh substandard it's not very common that um a citizen of the imperium would ever leave their planet um i think it's pretty rare i know um I've read, i can't remember which book it was but i've read a couple of uh different stories where um you know from the perspective of a, a citizen of the imperium they they look at like the the uh imperial guard even like imperial guardsmen as kind of like they made it so they're like almost minor celebrities so because they uh they made it off planet and stuff so i don't i can't really see the street judges and stuff in a setting that would be like broad 40k where they're showing up to different battlefields and in their mechanized uh regiments and stuff i think it would be really cool and i know it would be super awesome to see on like a on like a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, Necromunda type of setting. I think that'd be cool, but I can't really see them as like a, a full-on 40k-ish army, 40k style army. Um, the only other choice I think would be um, to finally give the, the Sisters of Battle um, <laughs> more attention than than the uh the insult that they've been given basically their entire existence basically just existing in uh white dwarf form and not having updated models and even when they did get updated their rules were lackluster so i think it would be the other the other option besides squats would be to to give them the attention they deserve finally so yeah I think uh, squats first, and then um, and then sisters after that would be cool. All right, going on to uh, past six minutes here, so I'll uh, I'll wrap it up for day 23. Um, this one and day 22 yesterday's will probably be going up um, tonight or right now, which is still the the morning of the 24th, the night of the 23rd, I guess you could argue. So. Um, uh, yeah, these two videos will probably be going up at the same time. So, cool. And then uh, hopefully t uh, day 24 tomorrow on we'll be, uh, we'll be back on schedule to see the, uh, the finish of the, the challenge. So, um, 
Again, I've been super busy lately, so I haven't been able to give uh, everyone's videos the comments and and attention that they that I usually try to give them. So, um, if I haven't commented on your video in a while, and and you and you are used to seeing a comment from me, uh, it's because I've been working 12 hours a day and uh, not getting much sleep. So, <laughs> I'll try to catch up soon. Um, in the next uh, before the this week is out hopefully so so yeah keep going everyone um, I see your videos being posted and uh, yeah just keep it up keep up the awesome work we'll see you on day 24